Do you see what I see? Hmm. It's not just a game that you actually play with your kids. Or a Christmas song. Now it's a new <laughs> way to start art. Caitlin Francis is live this morning to show us. Kate, I know where you are, and it's an unbelievable place. So I'm awesome. Oh, my gosh. I could get lost in here all day, <laughs> leave me here for multiple days. This is so much fun. We're, li we're live here at the New Britain Museum of American Art. I have Lisa here with me this morning. First of all, thank you so much for taking some time out of your morning because this new exhibit that you have here is stunning. I'm so glad you can be here. Um, it's such a phenomenal, brilliantly colorful space to welcome our visitors. So I'm glad you get to experience it today. Yeah, we are too. So Justin Favela's new exhibit, I want to just really quickly highlight uh, Connecticut is kind of like a play on Connecticut, I heard. Yes, exactly. So um, Justin Favela is a Las Vegas uh, born artist and he's of Guatemalan and Mexican heritage. So much of his work speaks to the Latinx experience mm -hmm. in America and the way Latin American culture is appropriated, Americanized, stereotyped, um, but he often uses a very playful and humorous approach. So uh, Connecticut is kind of meant to be a sort of postcard. This is a, meant to be an immersive postcard. Um, that plays on the way that Latinx Spanish speakers would phonetically spell Connecticut. Okay. So it's kind of a welcome to Connecticut from yeah. a Latin American perspective. I love it. It's, and this is, okay, so I was reading the description before I got here because this is like party streamers, basically. It's, it's like, it looks like a pinata. It's super fun. It's so colorful. All I wanted to do when I walked in was just touch everything. And I know you're not supposed <laughs> to do that, but I mean, everything just kind of flies when you walk past it. Yeah, it's a really unique material to find in an art museum which has a historically privileged paintings and sculpture so he's kind of playing against those traditional hierarchies by using a material that is strongly associated with Mexican and Central American culture we think of the pinata we think of the party but here he's using this kind of very craft based medium uh, for his artwork and taking up space this is a, a full-size mural um, this is a very labor-intensive process and I just have to give a shout out to Justin and his assistant they spent weeks hand cutting hundreds if not thousands of pieces of this pinata paper assembling it in their Las Vegas studio and then it took about three days to uh, install here at the museum yeah Lisa this is literally stunning I mean so just for reference Jen, I don't know if you can show this is literal tissue paper <laughs> up on the wall and you know it took how many days for them to do this about three days and when you're standing close it's kind of like an impressionist painting where you're standing close and the image kind of dissolves but when you're able to stand back you can see it yeah you like can see palm, exactly palm trees and yeah. sailboats um, so what he did was he spent a few days um, with us months ago um, looking through the permanent collection of the museum and finding uh, depictions of Latin American subjects landscapes, portraits, and so this uh, mural is actually comprised of images that he borrowed mm -hmm. from landscapes of Latin America by artists in the permanent collection. So he's kind of reclaiming those um, images and creating this space that's inclusive and welcoming for all. Okay, and I mean, this is just one of the new exhibits that you have here. You have so many other things to, to do and to see, and I know that we're going to kind of take a little walk in just sure. a few minutes yeah. to kind of give everybody, oh, we can actually kind of give a little sneak peek right um, so because just around the corner there's obviously a lot more going on that kind of extends way into the museum right yes there's um, so we can get a little sneak peek I don't know if you can zoom in but these are a few of the source materials that inspired Justin oh, wow. Favela so you see here these are sketchbooks by Canadian artist Keith Miller mm -hmm. um, he traveled around the world he spent time in Europe in Asia and he currently lives in uh, Mexico and so we acquired many of his sketchbooks in 2015 and a lot of them depict scenes from Mexico, Guatemala, Latin America and uh, Justin borrowed directly from these to create his phenomenal mural that wow. you see here. It's so incredible and so obviously people who come in here they can uh, take a tour, they can just immerse themselves in this incredible art but they, there's also events and I want everybody to come on back. We're going to have another live update here from the New Britain Museum of American Art coming up on the wax because there's a fun event tonight. Oh, yes. And we want to make sure that you get all the details. There's 90s Con this weekend here in Connecticut, but you want to come to the event here for more 90s fun. That's a little tease for you guys. Oh, right, I like the tea. Love it. Beautiful work. Oh, my God. It's unbelievable. Oh, my gosh. They always have something amazing. Also, we